Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we're going to see the title animation by using the particle system. So first, let us take a text. So I will rotate in X axis. So just I will press R, X and I will rotate in 90 degrees. And now in order to edit the text, we need to press tab so that we can edit the text. And now we will add the depth to this text. So in order to do that, we can select this and we can go to this option like data. And here we can see there is an option geometry and we can extrude this. So at present, I will give the value to like 0 0.1 or 0 0.05. It's up to you. And also just I will give a little bit of uh, like a rounded corners to this thing. So I will add a depth over here. So if you go to this thing, 0 0.01 or something, just we can add that depth. And now what the thing is, we need to apply the particle system for this text. So before that, we need to convert it into mesh. So in order to do that, we can select the text and go to the object, convert to mesh here. So after converting it to mesh, uh, we can go to the particle system and we can click on this add particles and here i will defaultly give like 10000 particles and also here i will uh, give the frame start and end to zero as we want to see the particles from the starting and lifetime i will give the value to like 200 and also if you go to the source and here we need to select the distribution to random and now whenever we click on play just it is going to fall down so we need to turn off the velocity of this particle so just i will give the value to zero and also i will disable the gravity so if you go to the fields weight and here you can see there is an option like gravity i will give the value to zero so now what the thing is we will generate the particles by using any one of the shape so for time for this tutorial i'm going to take the icosphere so i will go to the mesh and i will take an icosphere so by using this icosphere i will generate the particles so now instead of this particles if you want to select the like icosphere so first we need to select this particles that means like text and here if you go down you can see there is an option like render in the render instead of uh, this hello in the render as so we need to select the object and here we need to uh, pick the object which we want to generate so here i will select the icosphere so see now instead of this particles now it has been generated the icosphere here and now if you want to decrease the scale you can use this option here scale uh, like 0 0.01 or something so it depends on your requirement and the random scale like 0. Uh, fire or something and also make sure i don't want to see the emitter so just i will click on this show emitter here in the render and also i want to uh, hide the emitter in the viewport as well so just select this now you can see it has been uh, now we have created this thing and also we can hide this thing so just i will hide this from the outliner and now we have added the background and now if you want to increase the number of particles we can increase it uh, so we can select this text and here we can give the value up to like 80,000 or something. So it depends on your system configuration. So make sure you need to give the value according to your requirement. And now this is okay. So now we have to give the material for this icosphere. So just I will select this icosphere and I will go to the material view and click on this new material. So after that, uh, like suppose if you want to create the glow particles, we can create this instead of principal BSDF, we can select this emission so here we we can select the emission and here we can increase the emission strength let's say suppose if i give the value to like 10 and now if you go to this thing so and we can give the emission color to like uh, blue or something and also what the thing is if you want to render in the cycles we can go to this option here and here in the ev render we can enable this bloom so that we will get this glowing particle effect here and also for timing i will decrease the number of particles uh while we are working in the viewport so literally in the final render we can decrease the number of particles in case if you want to do so so if you want to make a test animation uh, better if you want to see the perfect animation just we will decrease the number of particles so just i will select this and for time being in the particle system just i will give it to like uh 20,000 or something so that's fine now it is fast here so now what the thing is whenever we click on this play nothing will happen so we need to add some force so in order to add that we can press shift a and we can go to the force field and we can select this turbulence here so now what the thing is just we will select this turbulence field so now we will select this turbulence and just we'll go to this option like physics tab and here we have to play with the strength value so let's say for timing i will give the value to like five or something and now we will see how the effect is going to play so we will click on this play so see, now we got this uh, nice effect over here. So now the entire text is going to fade out. Suppose in case if you don't want to do so here in the turbulence field, if you go, there is an option like minimum distance and maximum distance. Suppose if you enable this thing, so it depends on this thing, it will like act the, uh, it will apply the force. So let's say see now whenever I enable this minimum and maximum distance, now it has been enabled this sphere. So that now the turbulence will apply only up to this region here. So whenever we click on this play, so see now it is going to apply 
to only this certain part of the area here. So now by using this uh, like maximum minimum distance and maximum distance, we can give the animation for this thing. So let's say, suppose if you want to fade out from first to last, then we can give the animation for this force field here. So now uh, like we can animate this thing. So if you press N, you are getting this transform options when we are in the turbulence field. So here we can move from one direction to another direction. So suppose if you give the animation for the X direction, we can fade out this text from one position to another position. So let's say like in the starting, let's say I will give the value to like minus five so that it will be out of this text here. And just we'll add the keyframe by hovering the mouse and press I so that it will enable the keyframe. And like after like 80 frames or something, just I will move this to this end of the text here. And again, I will press I so that it will add an animation. So now whenever I click on this play, so just we'll play this. So see now, according to that, it will just fade out this text here. And also now it is going only towards like a single direction here and also enable the global. So whenever we enable this global, now we are getting this nice animation here. So now we have completed these settings. And now if you want to bake the particles, you can bake the particles. And before that, make sure we need to complete the final settings. So after that, we can bake. So in order to bake this, we can select this thing. And first of all, I will increase the number of particles to like uh, like one lakh or something. Okay. So we got these particles. So now if you want to bake, we can select this. And if you go to the catch section, you can see there is an option like bake. So we can bake this thing and this catch. And also make sure uh, you need to like save this thing. And now click on this bake. So now the baking has been completed. Now we will see this animation here. So we'll click on display. So here we got this nice animation and, and also we'll see how it is going to render. Uh, so like just I will set up the camera. So just I will go to the camera view and just I will lock the camera by pressing N and you go to the view option and here I will lock this camera. And let's say just I will set the camera angle uh, like in this way. And now we'll just we'll click on this render. So just render image. So here you can see still the icosphere is rendering. Uh, so just we need to disable it from the render. And also we need to decrease the glow for this thing. So if you select this, and if you go to the material tab, and here I will decrease the strength of this glow to like two or something. And now we'll see this. Okay, now this is looking good. And now we can change the background color to like black or something. Or else just we can disable the light for timing. So just I will disable the light and just will render this. Okay, now it is good. And also if you want complete black color, we can go to this uh, world option and disable the start of the background. And now we will render this. So now this is looking good here. So you need to play with these values until you get the desired output. You can add more fields. Uh, if you press shift A, you can go to the fourth field and you can add any other fields like wind or something. So you need to play with these values until you get your desired output. So in this way, we can create the title animation by using the particles. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.